There are so many benefits of spending time in nature. There are mental, physical, and spiritual benefits of spending time outside and getting connected with the elements. As entrepreneurs, it's important for us to step back from our day-to-day focus on growing the business, serving others, and making more money. We need to learn to reconnect with ourselves and something greater than ourselves. You know, going for a hike, a bike ride, a walk, hitting the beach, or strolling through a local park in your neighborhood, it's all good for your soul. But it's not just good for your soul, it's great for your business. I want to talk about five reasons I believe that entrepreneurs and business owners need to spend more time in nature coming up next in this episode. You're listening to the grind and gratitude show. I am Danny Stone and I've dedicated my entire life to helping people win, win in their careers, win in their businesses and win in their lives. This podcast is going to help you get on your grind and hustle to create the life that you love and walk in gratitude along the journey. Each episode, I'll teach you tools and tactics and bring you conversations with experts that will help you turn your passion into a thriving online business. Life isn't about wishing for something greater. It's about making it happen. There's something special about you. Grind until you find it. Be grateful when you get it. What's good, everyone? I am Danny Stone, also known as Coach Stone is in the building. I help entrepreneurs make more impact, income, and influence so that they can create the lifestyle they want. Welcome to the Grind and Gratitude Show. This podcast is going to help you to level up your life and your business, and I'm so excited about today. Wow, like, I mean, I'm really feeling good today. I'm feeling like, I don't know, I feel like a million bucks because... I really want to share something with you, and it's it's something that I love, and it's something that gives me more clarity, focus, and peace in my life. See, last weekend, I went on a hike. That's right. I went on a hike, and I went on a uh, this really amazing hike, and, and now I, I'll just say this. I'm not a hiker, <laughs> so don't start DMing me with all the hiking lingo and the latest hiking gear because... I won't understand what you're talking about. (laughs) I'm a six foot four black man with basketball ankles. (laughs) That means I'm not built for hiking. You know, I grew up playing basketball and soccer and not in the woods. But I do remember every once in a while going hiking when I was younger and, um, you know, getting out of my neighborhood. You know, I grew up in low income housing. I remember getting out of my neighborhood and getting into nature and, and I loved it. You know, I loved going to the beach. I love going to the ocean or going on hiking trails or every once in a while we would go camping. And and I loved all of that. I really enjoyed it. So last week I went hiking and I did about a two and a half hour hike through these amazing trails and all these different types of terrain. It was the perfect day. The temperature wasn't too hot. It wasn't too cold. It was just right for hiking. And this time of year, the leaves on the trees are changing colors. So the leaves range from like bright yellow and orange and red and green. And it was really beautiful. And uh, on my hikes, I was able to cross through some rivers and up some hills and through these secluded paths. It was like a real adventure. And I loved it. It was great. And uh, another thing I really liked was just like listening to the sounds of nature. You ever get out into the woods and you just kind of listen to the sounds you hear, you know, the trees blowing and birds chirping and all these different animals and you come across all these insects and it was just very peaceful. And one of the things I love, too, is like when you encounter people on hiking trails, it's like there's like this etiquette where everybody has to say hi to each other. (laughs) And, I, you know, even if you see them three or four times, you still say hi, you say hi again. And, you know, and I really love that about being out on the trails. And, and I saw some people hiking who were like in their seventies and eighties and they just seemed younger. They just seemed very energetic. And that's what I really liked. Everybody was smiling. Everybody stopped to say hi. And, you know, even if it was just something like, oh, beautiful day, isn't it? You know, the corny little whatever, but it it was cool, right? I liked it. And there's a definite different energy from people 
when you encounter them on hikes than when you encounter them in the city. But what I realized on the hike is that, and I actually realize this every time I go hiking, is that you know, spending time in nature, it really helps me to increase my, my health and well-being. It helps me to find more peace and calm and clarity and focus in my life. Now, I'm not going to pretend that I go hiking all the time because I don't. I wish I, I did. And I'm, I'm probably going to make it a point to, to go hiking more. But I'm definitely going to make it a, a point to get out into nature more. That's for sure. But whether it's like a walker in your neighborhood or a bike ride or going to a local park, you know, I think it's important for all of us to get outside more, to get that fresh air, to re- recharge and refresh and reflect. And so I do make that commitment. I, I do I do try to get outside and and take in, you know, um, nature or my surroundings every day. But, you know, like as a speaker and a mindset coach and an entrepreneur, you know, I often talk to audiences about, you know, why it's important to get out into nature. It's so important to pause from the daily grind and to remove yourself from your office, your classroom, your house, and to just get outside. And that hike last week really got me thinking about the importance of spending time in nature for our our physical, mental, and spiritual well-being. That's why I want to talk to you about today in this episode. Like I'm sure that you already know this, but this might be a great reminder for you. And so I want to talk about five reasons entrepreneurs and business owners need to spend more time in nature because most of us just don't. And some of the stuff is actually backed by science. So, uh, you know, I'm really excited to share this with you. So let's dive in. The first reason that entrepreneurs and business owners and whether you are or not, all of us need to spend more time in nature and spend more time outside is this. You feel happier. Don't you feel happy when you go outside and you go for a walk or you you, you go to the beach or you go to a local park or you go for a hike? Don't you just feel happier? Doesn't it just put you in a happier place? Like I know for me, it doesn't matter how stressed out I am or how angry or upset that I am. When I get outside and I go for a walk and I'm, or if I, you know, go to a beach or a park, I just feel happier. And there's actually a study that says that. There's a, a, a study, a Finnish study, Finnish study meaning, you know, done by um, people in Finland. Uh, there was a study done that showed 15 minutes sitting in nature really helped people to feel psychologically restored. So like when people get outside, they, they felt restored from just being outside and sitting in nature. And I thought that was really interesting. You know, when when we spend time actually walking in nature or sitting outside, we feel restored. Isn't that, isn't that interesting? Like getting out into nature helps you to feel happier. It helps you to feel restored. It helps you to feel more calm. And like, have you ever gone for a walk or a hike and just kind of took in the scenery and you just automatically felt happy? You felt grateful. You felt thankful, just thankful for life. Has that ever happened to you? I know it's happened to me many, many times. And, you know, I don't know about you, but I I feel like a kid when I get outside, you know, especially if it's in, you know, nature and you you get a chance to kind of explore, you know, it just brings back that, that kid in me. Like everything just seems so amazing. It seems so brilliant. Like, have you ever thought about a tree and the leaves and all of the insects and how the whole ecosystem works together. To me, that's that's really amazing. So it brings out this like childlike sort of happiness when I get out into nature. And I think all of us need to take time to to put ourselves first. We need to take time for ourselves and take time to just remove ourselves from where we are physically, get outside and get some fresh air because it's going to help you to feel happier. Now, you know, that's the first kind of reason. And and I'm sure that you know these things, but these are great reminders. I know they were great reminders for me 
you know, after I came, while I was on the hike, I was just thinking about being in nature and just how great it felt. And then, you know, when I came back home, I was reflecting on it as well. And that's when sort of all of these things started coming to me. And I've been thinking about this, this episode for the last week or so. So I can't wait to share the rest of these, these tips with you, not tips, but the rest of these reasons that I think that we need to spend more time in nature. The second reason is it improves our concentration and focus. As business owners, as entrepreneurs, as people who have a lot on the go, sometimes it's hard for us to concentrate and focus on something that we really need to get done just because there's so many other things going on. Or sometimes we just have a hard time of focusing, like we just can't concentrate. And so as entrepreneurs or as someone who just lives a busy life, it's important for us to get refocused and to get clear about what it is that we really want and what it is that we need to get done. It's challenging to get focused on on what you need to do to take your business or your life to the next level. Like when you're constantly running and you have so many things to do, it's difficult to, to find time or to take time to pause. But that's, a, that's necessary. Like it's necessary to pause, to change your environment, because that's going to help you to focus and it's going to help you to concentrate on the things that you need to do that are going to take your life and your business to the next level. So when you actually change your environment, you get out into nature, you're forcing your brain to kind of shift your attention and focus on all of these other things that you got going on inside of your head to just taking in what you're seeing and taking in what you're experiencing. And once you do that, you can start to shift your attention and find solutions to problems that you may be having or start to get refocused on bigger goals and dreams that are going to elevate your life or your business. So when you're in nature, you start concentrating and focusing and and that's when you really kind of start to figure things out. And that's what I found for me. You know, every time I get out and I go for a walk or a bike ride, uh, I'm not a runner, so I'm not going to pretend like I'm a jogger at all. But when I get out into nature, that's what happens for me. It helps me to get like recentered and refocused and and concentrate on the things that I need to do that I need to get done that day or that week or that month. So that's the second benefit of really getting out into nature. You know, it really helps you to focus and to concentrate on the things that are really important that need your attention. The third reason that I really believe that we need to spend more time in nature is it reduces stress. It lowers our heart rate. It makes us feel more relaxed and and calm. And being entrepreneur, being an entrepreneur or a business owner can be really stressful. Like, I don't have to tell you this, right? There's so many ups and downs. You know, it's not like a nine to five where you have a steady paycheck coming in every two weeks or three weeks, though there are ways that you can, you know, create predictable income so that you have a predictable amount of money flowing into your business every month. I mean, that's possible for sure, but it can still be stressful. And at times it's, there's a lot of pressure, not knowing, you know, what's next in your business and what's, what's next in your life. And, you know, you have to rely on yourself because you're the boss. So it's important that you learn how to manage stress and, you know, getting outside helps you to do this. There's also the benefits of getting vitamin D, you know, vitamin D is very important for our well being. It's a it's a huge part of our health. You know, getting that sun on you every single day is so important for our health. But it's also the fresh air and the scenery and all of these things lower your stress level and your and your and your blood pressure. And it helps you to find more peace and calm. And, and, you know, so there's so many studies about getting out into nature and how it physically not only just lowers your blood pressure, but reduces stress levels and 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 not just kind of physical benefits, but also mental and spiritual uh, benefits and, and calm and peace in your life. Hold on, hold on. Time out. Time out. Let me ask you a question. Do you have a big goal or a big dream that you really want to get done, but you just can't see how to make it happen? 
Is there a big goal that you've been struggling with for a long time? And you just don't know how you can really make sure that you get it done. Well, let me help you. I have a course that's called the Get It Done System. And in that course, I teach you how to get your goals done. All you got to do is go to IamDannyStone.com slash get it done and you can find out more information. Take care. The other thing that I realized, the fourth thing that I realized, you know, being out in nature and especially when I'm hiking is it, it increases your, your health and well-being, but it, it heals you and gives you better physical, mental and spiritual well-being. Like there's no secret about that. We know that spending time in nature is, is good for you all the way around. And as business owners, we really have to learn to prioritize our health and wellness. We're so busy you know, worrying about the next sale or the next deal or the next partnership or trying to get more people into our program or to buy our products. And we're constantly running and it's marketing and and sales and our website and all of these things. Then we have everything else that's going on in our life outside of the business. And oftentimes our health gets put last on the list. And as business owners and, and, and as humans, without your health, you have nothing. Nothing else matters. If the pandemic has taught us nothing, it's that we have to take better care of our health, our mental, physical, and spiritual well-being. Like, that's what the pandemic has taught me. You know, unfortunately, I've lost loved ones, you know, during this pandemic, and it's been very challenging and tough in that regard. But for me, it was a reminder that I have to really learn to put myself first, to put my health first, to put my well-being first. And that comes down to, you know, taking time out when I need to, getting out into nature, eating better, exercising, making sure that I stick to my morning rituals. All of those things are beneficial for me and they're beneficial for all of us. So without our health, we have nothing like nothing else matters. So you can chase all the money you want. You can try to get, you know, the accolades that you want and you could try to position yourself as this go to expert and you can run yourself into the ground. But at the end of the day, if your health fails, everything else fails. And that was one of the unfortunate lessons that we learned from Steve Jobs. I think he was worth, what, 20 billion dollars when he when he died. 20 billion. That's right. 20 billion dollars. And it still didn't save him. Right. He was so focused on his work. And and, and I don't know. I don't know him. I don't know the story, but this is what a lot of people I've read. A lot of people said about him. He just had this like tremendous drive and determination. And, you know, unfortunately, um, you know, he ended up passing away and, and the money couldn't save him. And so I think for me, that was a lesson of, yes, you have to be determined. You have to take massive action to get what you want, but you also have to be conscious of, of your body and pay attention to your mindset and your health and your spiritual health and step back and pause when you need to. And I think that like, sometimes we have to learn to Schedule these timeouts in our in our schedules every day. Take time to get outside every single day. Every week, you know, get out into nature and, and do something for yourself just so you can just let go and, and recharge and reflect. You know, whether you go for a hike, a walk, a run, a bike ride, you do some type of exercise, you play a sport, you just get outside and just sit outside, do something in your yard, you know go for a walk and just listen to a podcast, the grind and gratitude show <laughs> or music or something that's just going to help you mentally and spiritually and physically. But getting in, out in nature keeps you youthful, keeps you energetic. You know, one study I read showed that like people in their seventies who spent time outside every day, I think they had less complaints about aging compared to those who did not and so they make it a point, they made it a point to get outside every day. And even if it was just for a few minutes, um, it just really helped their mindset and their physical body. 
And then there was like a, I think there was another study done with like, I think it was 20 or 25,000 people. Um, it was a European study, I believe. And it found that people who spent two hours a week in green spaces, whether it's like local parks or natural environments, they either, um, or just some something outside, they were substantially likely to have better health and, and psychological well-being than those who didn't. You know, two hours, that's it. Spending two hours outside put them in a better place mentally and, and spiritually. That was two hours a week. So take some time to get outside. Like if you really want to increase your, your mental and physical and spiritual well-being, like take some time and get outside. Even if it's just a walk in your neighborhood, you, you'll start to feel the benefits of it. You'll start looking forward to it every day right? You'll start to schedule it in your calendar. That'll be your time for yourself. That non-negotiable time where you, you just get out into nature and you just take in the elements and it really helps you and it really benefits you. Especially if you're an entrepreneur or a business owner who has so much on the go. And, and the fifth tip, or so I keep saying tips, these aren't tips. These are benefits, The fifth benefit of really getting out into nature is it helps you feel connected to the world. Like, have you ever felt like you just wanted to be seen? Have you ever felt like you were trying to find your purpose? Like you're trying to find what your gift is so that you can use that gift to serve other people and you just can't find it. You're like, you know, you, you, sometimes people around you, it seems like they found their gift and they found their talent and they're, they're using it to serve others and they're making money. And sometimes you're looking at yourself like, why can't I find that thing? What am I here for? What's the reason I'm here? So many people are feeling lost in life and maybe that's you right now. They're feeling like they want to be a part of something bigger than themselves. I know that's the case for me. I, I've always felt like I wanted to be a part of something bigger than myself. And I think that's what sports did for me. You know, playing basketball allowed me to be a part of something bigger than just me. It was a team, you know, or I was representing my city or my province, which is state for all of my American friends, or just, I just felt like I was a part of something bigger. And then that's when I started giving back to my community you know, being a youth outreach worker, working with young people, coaching and mentoring. I always felt like I wanted to be a part of something bigger than myself. And that's led me to doing all kinds of things, you know, speaking on stages all over the world and writing books and this podcast and coaching people. I want to see people tap into that inner champion and create the lifestyle that they deserve and really find that gift and that talent and use that to serve other people. And I want to be a part of a community of people who are seeking that out. I want to be a part of a community of people who, who want to help others learn and grow and share. And that's why I started this whole champion you community on, on clubhouse. You know, the clubhouse app is, you know, this audio app that you can go on and you can host rooms and about different topics And I started the Champion You Club on Clubhouse because I just felt like I wanted to share what I was learning and I wanted to learn from other people and I wanted to grow with other people. And so I started the Champion You Club there. Then I started the Champion You community on Facebook. It's a place for us to really learn about how to take control of our health, our wealth, our well being, our relationships. And create the life that we the lifestyle that we deserve. So aside from all of those things, like I find getting out into nature just kind of helps us to disconnect from the world. And we're so connected all the time. We're connected with all of these devices. We're always online. People were so accessible. And getting out into nature just allows us to to disconnect from the world and reconnect with sort of our purpose and our mission. 
especially as entrepreneurs, like it, it can be lonely sometimes. And you question, like, why am I doing this? You know, have you ever said that to yourself? You ever ask yourself, like, why am I doing what I'm doing? And, you, and you, you're struggling with that. And sometimes you, you don't have the answer, but you just know that you want to make a greater impact in the world. You know that you want more out of life. But you just don't know how. And so I find getting out into nature sometimes just allows us to kind of disconnect. And once you disconnect, that's when things start to flow. That's when ideas start to grow. That's when you start to dream bigger. That's when you start to ask yourself heightened questions. And when you ask yourself heightened questions, that's when you actually start to find the answers that you were seeking. And I find a lot of that happens when I'm in nature or when a lot of my coaching clients get out into nature. That's when they kind of that's when we all realize these other dimensions of ourselves that we don't see because we're stuck in a house or a building or school or, you know, a job office. So get out into nature because it will help you feel more connected to the world. So those are the five reasons that I had, but I also got a bonus for you. (laughs) You know, the bonus is like, do you find it difficult, you know, remembering things? Do you find it difficult to remember all of the things that you have to do in the day? And I get it because we live busy lives. We're always connected with our smartphones, social media, video calls, all these different things. We're always on. And because of that, it's difficult for us to kind of just get focused on the things that we need to. And getting into nature really improves your memory. You know, I've kind of alluded to this already, but it really helps you to kind of remember the things that are important to get focused and people who get out into nature and go for walks regularly, they perform 20% better in them in memory tests. So if you find yourself constantly stressed or you're constantly forgetting things, um, take a, take some time to get out into nature because it actually helps you to improve your memory. So, you know, if you have a big presentation or a speech coming up, you know, just take some time and get out into nature and just kind of, Go over your speech or just let it go and then come back to it later. And it will really improve your memory. So those are the six reasons that I believe that entrepreneurs and business owners and really like everyone should spend more time in nature because there are so many mental, physical and spiritual benefits. But I'm curious, like, do you have any tips? I would love to hear some other reasons why you think spending time in nature helps you. If you do send me a DM on Instagram at I am Danny stone. I'd love to hear from you, but just remember there's nothing more important than your health. Take care of yourself, exercise regularly, eat better, get out into nature, go for a walk, a run, a hike, just sit out in your, in a, in your backyard Walk around the block. Your health is the most important thing that you have. So take time, schedule time for yourself every single day, even if it's just five minutes to just relax, to let go and to disconnect. That's it for this episode. My call to action for you is is just that. Set some time in your calendar every single day to just get up from your desk or to get outside and, and at least once a week, just try to go to a local park or go for a bike ride or do something that's going to benefit your health and your wellness. That's it for now. I am coach stone. I will catch you in the next episode. Take care. Thanks so much for being my co-host on this episode of the grind and gratitude show. I really appreciate you. I hope that you learned something and you're motivated to take action and get on your grind. Didn't that go by fast? If you want more, head over to grindinggratitude.com for show notes and more information about this episode. If you enjoyed this episode, please go to iTunes and subscribe and leave a rating so more people will tune in. And let me say this. There's something special about you. Grind until you find it. Be grateful when you get it.